What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at a very awesome product from a company called Calyx, if you can get it, and I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. But this is the Gigaspire U6, and it's a Wi-Fi 6 certified router. This is an awesome device, and if you've been following my channel for a while, I hardly ever recommend that you get a device that comes from your ISP. But this product is completely different. This is a product that I've been testing for the past couple of weeks. Thanks to the loaner device provided to me from Calyx. And the only sad thing about it is I do have to return it. This is something that I've really enjoyed using and it definitely is a lot better than my current router. I currently have the Asus AX11000 and honestly, I'd much prefer to have this. But let's get into this review. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Gigaspire U6 and why if you're able to get it, this is something I highly recommend. Right off the bat guys, the design is something that I really like about this product because it doesn't take up a whole bunch of space. So again, this will be available through your ISP if it is available. This is something I think you guys should highly consider. If you do get VOIP service, you do have two ports right over here. Four gigabit ethernet ports. There's your LAN port as well. And the great thing about this is for a lot of people, if you do run into some issues, it can be remotely managed. So this is something that I recommend for a lot of people that might not want to go through their own troubleshooting. Your cable company will be able to go on and figure out what's going on. Another great thing about the U6 system, it is a mesh system guys, so you are able to expand this Wi-Fi 6 and get that mesh coverage that a lot of us need these days, thanks to being overcrowded. Especially where I am here in New York City, there's a lot of congestion, there's a lot of overcrowding on all of these channels, all of these frequencies get very, very overcrowded. That's where Wi-Fi 6 comes in, so I'm really happy to see that this is a mesh capable system. And as far as mesh systems goes, it couldn't have been any simpler, guys. All you have to do is scan the QR code on the back here, and the system's going to do the rest for you. So there's no setup, there's no going into some, some app and trying to configure this and configure that. Just scan that QR code, and the U6 will talk to the U4, and everything is done. Just place this wherever you want to place it, and that's basically it. Before I show you the app, because the app is very useful, and the app is, is again, one of the simplest that I've seen, and one of the most... One of the most advanced that I've seen in terms of giving people a lot of options, in terms of being able to completely monitor what's going on in your home network via their app. But again, this is a Wi-Fi 6 certified device, mesh capable, you get security in here. And the great thing about this is in this small form factor that you have a 6x6 antenna array in here. In terms of range, this definitely matched or beat my current Asus router. And again, in such a small form factor, I give Calyx a huge thumbs up because I'm sure that wasn't easy to do. But enough about it, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options that you have within the admin control panel, and especially within the app, because I think most people are going to spend a lot of time within the actual Calyx application. Let's head over to my phone and check it out. What impressed me the most about the Calyx system is their application and just how simplified they've made it. Going into the admin settings of a router can sometimes be overwhelming, and I definitely get that. But this is an easy way to see what's going on with every single aspect of your home network. So at the top here, you do have a little alert section, which you can enable push notifications if you want. And it's just going to let you know if a, new, if a new device has been connected to your network. You can see I just did a speed test, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. You can also see if a VPN was connected to your network. Again, perfect for parental controls. If you want to ensure that your kids aren't getting around what you don't want them to get around, you will get alerted if a VPN is detected on your network. Again, I definitely like this, and this is something I personally have not seen on any other router's application. So you get to see every single device, every single thing that's really happened in your network. There's a few more settings that I want to show you when it comes to the Calyx application, because again, I think they did a really nice job, and I definitely want to go over as much of this app as I can. Clicking on my network, you'll be able to see information about, well, your network. So you can see your SSID. You can do a speed test from within the application. You get to see a map of every single device and how it's connected to your home network, whether that's Ethernet or Wi-Fi. So you can definitely check out what devices are connected and you can see what's connected to your mesh as well. So it gives you a breakdown of how and where each device is connected to the internet. You also get network priority. This is your quality of service and you can set new priorities if you want to for different things like if you work from home or if you game from home or anything like that, you can go ahead and, and Set your own quality of service, which is something that I enjoy as well. The next thing you can do is prioritize certain devices to get the most bandwidth from your home network. So for example, if you are working from home, you can ensure that your work laptop always has top priority on your network. Again, this is something that comes in very useful, especially these days. With Calyx, you also get built-in security, so you, it'll let you know if there's been any sort of viruses, intrusions, or threats detected on your network. And you can add certain things to the trusted list, certain websites that might 
give a false positive, for example. You can skip certain devices that you don't want, that you don't want to have under this security umbrella. And again, I think it's just an easy way to ensure that you always know what's going on with your home network. But going back to the My Network settings, you can see your equipment. So right over here, I do have a mesh network connected, which was the easiest mesh network connection I've ever had to do. All you have to do is scan that barcode and it does the work for you. So again, this is what you can see about your mesh network. So I, I definitely like the ease of this whole Calyx system. Going into services again, this is where Calyx is protecting your home network. So you do have Protect IQ over here. And you also have another experience IQ as well. Now you can disable these if you want to, but I usually like to leave them on. Under usage, you can see exactly how much data each device has been using. Again, this is useful if you're on a limited connection. But going back to the main setup, this is where you have some, some pretty interesting features here. This is what I like to call parental controls or just people control in general. If you want to set up certain rules, you can go ahead and set them up under this people application. You might want to limit certain applications. You might want to limit certain application times as well. So Calyx developed a really nice and very detailed parental control system in my opinion. Under the parental controls you can see the most used applications on those devices that you've put into this list and you can see how much time they've used, how much bandwidth up or down as well. So if we take a look at the 30 day snapshot, this is exactly what's been going on. So I use Google Play the most, WhatsApp, Zepedo, Facebook and YouTube. So I like this because it gives you a real idea of how much time your kids are using on a specific app. And you can also limit them as well. So if you want to go into restrictions, you can you can have a safe search. You can also restrict YouTube if you want to, and you can restrict certain contents as well. So you can take a look here if your child is zero to eight, preteen, teen, etc., etc. And this way you can block certain things like pornographic material, gambling, alcohol, violence, and, and all of that stuff as well. Again, the name of the game is full control over your home network. You can also block certain applications as well, or you can limit the amount of time that these people, aka your kids, have on this application. So if you want to ensure they don't use more than an hour of Instagram or TikTok, you can go ahead and do that on a daily basis. Again, I definitely like these parental controls because they give you a lot of, a lot of control over exactly what you want to have accessed on your home network. And if you go down here, this is where you can actually add the certain devices that you want to. And again, if you remember on that notification list that I showed you, if a VPN is detected, it's going to let you know. And that ties hand in hand with the parental controls. So if they're trying to be sneaky and get around your controls by turning on a VPN, you will always know what's going on in your home network. Again, I give Calyx a huge thumbs up for that. I think they did a really nice job with, with, with their parental controls on the, on the Calyx application. Other than people, you can also set up places so you can have certain devices in certain rooms and, and you just can categorize it and make it very neat and, and tidy if you want to do that. The same goes for when you click on things. It's going to show you every single device that's connected to your home network. Clicking on a device, you can see the amount of data that this device has been using either on a minute basis, hour, day, or week. So if we leave it on a daily basis, you can see the amount of download and upload in this nice little graph right over here. And you can see right down there, total usage is 211 megabytes. Then under options, you can completely turn off the internet for that device. You can give it more priority if you want to, or you can go in and you can see the information about it, such as the IP address, MAC address, the vendor, and the device type if you want to change it, if it's incorrectly recognizing this as, maybe it's recognizing it as a printer when it's a computer. Again, you can go ahead and change that. And that's what I like about the application. It's really simple to use and it gives you a lot of control over everything on your network. Clicking on the plus button, this is where you can set certain things like those parental controls. You can group things like location. You can connect new devices if you want to. You can also change your secondary network if you wanted to do that. So if you want to set up a guest network or if you want to set up your own private work from home type of network, you can go ahead and do that. Or of course, here's your custom. Within, these, within the secondary network, you can prioritize it and you can isolate it from, from other devices on your network. So it's perfect, again, if you don't want your work computer to be accessed from other people on your internet. That's just a great way to set up that isolation and ensure that nobody else can connect to your computer. It's just going to be on your own network and that's it. And that's basically all the things I want to show you within the, within the application from Calyx. I really like this application. Again, you get a full snapshot, full control over your home network. And that's what it's all about these days. You want to ensure that people aren't seeing what they're not supposed to see on your network. You want to ensure that certain devices get prioritized. And you just want an overall pleasurable experience when it comes to setting up a device that sometimes gives a lot of people worry, that sometimes is a little bit overwhelming. 
This just simplifies it and makes it super, super easy. Now for fun, let's just do a speed test. Now this is gonna test the connection on your main router and on your mesh network. I pay for 500 down and 20 up, so let's just see what we get. Now again, this is wired. This is not a wireless test, except when it's connected to your mesh network. And you can see once I do a speed test, I get that little notification from the app letting me know someone's run a speed test. The wired speed test is completed, so I'm getting 408 down and 23 up. Now we're going to move on to the wireless test. Now again, I'm in a very congested area, so I definitely am super impressed with these speeds. Standing right next to the U6, I got 411 down. Again, very respectable considering I do have a lot of devices running on my network at this moment. I did not completely shut all of them down, so I am happy to see 411. If we move over to about two rooms down, the download speed changed just a little bit, 243 down, but once again, I'm in a super congested area. If you take this somewhere where you don't have as much congestion, you're gonna get some really fast speeds. I can definitely guarantee you that. This last speed test, while it might not see impressive at 23 down, this is a place in the office, the farthest place in the office that I usually only get single digits. So I'm happy to see 23 down, but again, most of the areas, and when you are connected to that mesh, you're definitely seeing some higher speeds. Let me know what speeds you're getting from the Calyx U6 or U4 system down in the comments below. Overall, I'm really happy with the speed and the range. For those of you that do not want to use the application, there is a control panel that you can go into. It's the admin control panel, and all you have to do is type in your router's address, enter in the password, and you can get a little bit more control, and this is a little bit more more what administrators are used to seeing. So you can see full information about your connection. So I am IP version 4 and IP version 6 connected thanks to the Calyx gateway. You can also click on full mesh topology and you can see every single device and how it's connected. So I do have some, some connections via an ethernet cable. I also have some connections via my mesh network. So if we click on one here, you can see my tablet. You can see a whole bunch of information about your tablet. The MAC address, the IP address, you can see everything about it. So once again, for those of you that want a little bit more, more administrative controls, you can go ahead and log into the router directly. And that's what I like about Calyx. You're getting, you're getting multiple options of how you can, how you can access the settings on, on this device here. So you can set up static IP addresses if you want to. You can also do things like change the dynamic DNS option for IP4 and IP6. Again, giving you a lot of different controls here. And if you go into security, you can also set up things like a DMZ host, set up your port forwards. So this is perfect for your Plex servers or it's perfect for your cameras or anything like that. So once again, I think this is a great way to, to just give you a more traditional way to, to go in and change certain, certain things. Once you set this up though, the application definitely is a lot easier and a lot, a lot more pleasing to go in and open up an app on your tablet or your phone and change certain things. But again, I like this admin panel. I like multiple ways to interact with my router. And a lot of people never have to set up port forwards. They never have to set up static IP addresses. So for that, I like the app. I think it's a very good way to interact with the router. That's basically it when it comes to the Calyx U6 and U4. If this is available where you are, if this is something that you're interested in, let me know down in the comments below because I'm curious where this is available if you're in the US or Canada. Again, the only downside is I do have to return it or this would be my home solution, my office solution. That's how impressed I was with the speed, with the configurable options and just with, with overall the user control that I have over my home internet. And that's something that I definitely look for in a router. Other than speed, other than range, you want to be able to control what's going on. And with the Calyx system, that's something you can definitely do. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and if you have any questions, once again, just let me know down in the comments below. I'll catch you in another video.